Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Caitlin Bristow explained why she felt betrayal in her relationship with ex-fiance Jason Tartik and how their podcasts were involved. When the duo started dating in 2019, Bristow was looking for somebody that doesn't want to be an influencer, she said while appearing on the Almost Adulting podcast earlier this month. When I met Jason, it was very much like, oh, no, I'm not going to be an influencer, I work at a bank, she recalled. I was like, okay, this is going to work out perfectly. He's a great guy, he doesn't want to be an influencer, he's going to make hay while the sun shines because he was on The Bachelor and he can bring in some cash, but really, he's so established in his bank job that we're going to have our separate lives. But when Tartik got fired from his bank job, he started exploring other avenues. After Bristo discussed getting an orgasm from dry humping Tartik on her podcast, Tartik was given an ultimatum from his previous employer, he told our channel exclusively in March 2022. As Tartik discussed the next phase of his career, Bristo begged him not to start a podcast. Initially he obliged her and took a face-first dive into influencer life, she recalled. As time went on, he realized that podcasting is another avenue for income and that he could do a finance podcast, she recalled. Slowly but surely, it was like, he's definitely going to do a podcast. Bristo didn't want to ask Tartik to choose me or a podcast, but she felt he could be making all this other money in other avenues. Per The Bachelorette alum, Tartik accused her of emotionally and financially stunting my growth. I had a full panic attack because I felt like I wasn't chosen and that my feelings were not worth over money for him, she recalled, noting that it did create this resentment and betrayal feeling in their relationship. It kind of happened a little bit behind my back where it was like, by the way, I am starting a podcast. And I was like, what? Bristow claimed. The Off the Vine podcast host also explained why she didn't want Tartik to start his own show. I felt like I finally found what I was meant to do on this planet and share my voice and make people laugh and have deep conversations and not so deep conversations. I always wanted my own radio show, Bristow said adding that she wanted to date someone with a regular job who can kind of shine in their world, and I can shine in mine. Risto and Tartik got engaged in 2021, two years after they started dating. Bachelor Nation was shocked in August 2023 when the former couple announced their split after four years together. Initially, it seemed like the breakup was mutual, but both Bristow and Tartik have offered insight into their split. During a January episode of her Off the Vine podcast, Bristo hinted at Tartik having a victim mentality following their breakup. I don't want to dismiss that he's hurting. I don't want to dismiss that his feelings are valid and his feelings are hurting, she said. I have talked to him so openly and honestly. We have been so transparent with each other to have respect for one another. Bristo has continued to hint at her feelings in various social media posts, especially after Tartik went public with new girlfriend Kat Stickler earlier this month. People make me f king sick, she wrote in various Instagram story posts on June 13. What people will do for attention is making me want to exit the internet forever.